In this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to use Cal.com's instant meeting feature. Now, instant meetings is one of the more interesting features we have at Cal, only because it goes so against what typical scheduling software does, right? When you think of scheduling software, you think of booking meetings one week in advance, one month in advance, booking recurring meetings, one-off meetings, meeting with your coworkers. But instant meetings is something that happens right in the moment and, is, and the user expects it to happen right now. We typically see this in sales teams, marketing teams, and most commonly support teams where they wanna meet with their most valued customers right away. So let's get into how to do this. So basically by the end of this, you'll see this connect now button at the bottom of your booking page where once clicked, the user will be able to put in all their information and you will be able to see that they wanna meet with you right now. Now to set this up, all we gotta do is just go into one of our event types. I'm just gonna click on meet the marketing team as our event type of choice. We're gonna head down to instant booking. We're gonna select yes as this option and click on save. Now once clicked, we're able to have instant meetings. However, the one issue is that we don't have a way to notify our team members that someone booked an instant meeting, right? And since it is an instant meeting, by the name of it, the users are expecting someone to be there right away in a few minutes. So let's get into how to actually notify our team members via Slack. Now to create a notification system, all we gotta do is head over to Zapier and we need to create a new Zap. So we just gotta click on create new Zap over here. And that's gonna take us to a Zap editor where we're gonna create our workflow of grabbing the instant meeting link and notification and then notifying Slack and ourselves in Slack so that we know exactly when an instant meeting is booked. So the first thing we gotta do is select a trigger event. So I'm just gonna click on webhooks and the, oh, where'd my page go? There we go. And our trigger event in this case is gonna be a catch hook. We're gonna click on continue, continue again. And then we are gonna be given a webhook URL. All we gotta do is copy this URL, head back to our, um, Cal page where we have our instant meeting booking page and we're gonna create a new webhook. So we're gonna click on this over here. We're gonna paste in that URL that we just copied. We are going to ping test to make sure this works and you should see a past webhook response if it is valid and it, it works. Then we're gonna create the webhook and at this point, everything is good. It passed, but one thing we need to do is actually notify uh, Zapier and the webhook of the information we're trying to send it. So what I mean by this is we need to give it an example response of what an instant meeting booking data would look like. So it'll make sense in a second, but we need to just head back, go back into the meeting we set the instant booking to and actually make an example booking. So right now you should be able to see the connect now, but nothing works. We're gonna click on connect now. We're gonna put in our phone number here, which I should blur out hopefully click confirm and then we just need to exit out of this page because it's you know we don't need it and now if we head back into zapier and we test this url you should see two records of um booking events request a and request b and in this you will be able to see the information of the instant meetings you'll see stuff like the trigger event which is instant meeting coming from cal the email which is my email the phone number, which again, I should blur out, as well as the connect and join URL. Now, this is the most important part of this entire tutorial. It's grabbing the, this link over here. So how we're gonna send this link into Slack is by going into the next action event, going to Slack. And I typically go with the legacy. I know it's gonna be depreciated, but they're both typically the same thing. So you don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna go with send direct message. You could go with send group message and you know sending it to your entire team, which is what people will typically do. Click on connect. And now we got a couple more options. So to username, this is gonna to be to myself in this case, cause I don't wanna send it to the whole team. And the message can be whatever we want, but most importantly, that link, which is gonna be dynamically rendered. So it's, I'm just gonna put in like instance, meeting booked and then link is going to be that payload 
response, connect, and join URL. So why am I selecting it from here is because each link in an instant meeting is different. So you don't want to just have the same link because it's obviously going to make mistakes and it's going to send you to the wrong place after one instant meeting is booked. So this just dynamically renders it so that if there's multiple, it's going to send you the different links that you need. And then we're going to go down. It's going to be, yeah, this bot name is going to be zap here. It doesn't matter. Bot icon does not matter. Attach image URL doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to click on continue. We are then going to test this step to make sure it works. And then if everything is good, you should see a success message. And the best way of checking if this works is if we head back over to Zapier and at, uh, let's just see, if we look, go back to Slackbot, you will see that the instant meeting was booked. It's currently 1014, so this is up to date. And as you can see, instant meeting booked to exclamation points as well as the link. So yeah. That is how to implement the instant meeting feature. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this is an awesome feature, and I hope you learned everything you needed to learn. Bye-bye.